So picture this. The other day, the missus drags me shopping to our local shopping centre, Meadow Hall. And I said, I'm going to jump in this sports shop over here because I found these. A full set of golf clubs for £419. But it gets better. There's 50% off. A full set of golf clubs, including a bag, for £239.99. Let's do it. And let's do it now. £239.99 for a full set of golf clubs. I don't think that's bad. Or are they just cheap rubbish? Guys, in today's video, that's exactly what we are going to find out. But let's be fair, for 240 quid, I don't really think we've done bad here. Let's, uh, let's get to the golf course. Um, take that off, can we? I'll leave it on, let's go. So before we get on the golf course, guys, you will see is a Slazinger V300 set, and we do have a V300 driver, a V300 three wood, a V300 hybrid, and a set of irons, including a putter. And I think that bag's actually really nice. I'm not sure about the quality of it, but the color scheme is gorgeous, isn't it? We'll take a bit of that. I just want a matching towel, really. I like a matching towel, but we also have some graphite shafts in there as well. Let's see how these do. The only thing we actually need is golf balls, which isn't that bad. Hopefully that's enough. So guys, for me, when testing golf clubs like this, when testing golf sets like this, it's mega important for me that we do two things. We stay realistic with what we expect for the price. But we also give it a fair test, which is exactly what we're going to do today. For me, a set like this has to be comparable to such as the Costco Cobra set, which we filmed just last week. Guys, there is a full comparison video coming with the Costco set compared to the Sports Direct set. If you want to see that, hit that subscribe button. You're guaranteed not to miss it. And you don't want to miss it because it's going to be awesome. Guys, we're going to start on a par three here. We've got about 135 uphill. I'm going to hit a little eight iron. The irons don't look too bad. They don't look expensive, but they don't quite look budget. They've got a nice thick top line on them. They've got a nice kind of blacked out bottom groove for alignment help. Um, but they've got a nice cavity. So if you're starting out with golf, what more? Do you really want right that's a nice shot that's a nice flag location as well middle of the green you know what i slipped there but that's all over it and that could be good oh if that comes down the slope it's exceptionally good guys i've also been in the studio checking these golf clubs for numbers for distance for spin if you want to see that that's coming up i'm excited to see where this is and for me, that shot there is exactly what these golf clubs are about, exactly what budget clubs are about. Anyone can play golf with a brand new set and a bag for 200 odd pounds. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, the bag's kind of taking, it's getting some working out, but I guess you get what you pay for with that. And I'll tell you what, guys, I'm taking that all day for the opening shot with these golf clubs. Birdie chance. Now, often in these sets, one thing that's massively overlooked is the putter, because you don't hit a putter 300 yards. In this set, I think it's safe to say, um, what do we think? I mean, it's an answer style, we can say. Um, be interested to see how it feels coming off there. Interestingly as well, no head cover with this. I'm starting to think that these golf clubs were supposed to be this price, and they've kind of priced them up to price them down, if that makes sense. Because for me, the Cobras, if these were full price and the Cobras were full price, I don't think there'd be much really to go at. Um, but let's see what the scores say. And I'm quite conscious that this, this isn't the comparison video, so I'm going to try not to compare them too much. Some nice stopping power there with that iron. And I'm saying I'm trying not to compare them too much. I'm even here thinking that this grip, this putter grip, is nowhere near like the super stroke one you got on the Costco clubs. But again, this isn't comparison video this is a birdie chance but it does look a bit blocky never oh good lord that would have been the world's cheapest opening birdie surely but that is a par and we will move on with these clubs not a bad opening par okay level par through one guys this is what you've all come to see i know you have the big dog, the driver, the V300 Slazinger driver. Wow, that really doesn't look that, uh, really doesn't look that ad appetizing. 
And you see guys, the funny thing here is if I show this driver to someone who's never played golf before, they're gonna think, wow, that's such a big header club. That's something which maybe I didn't expect to see. And I love that kind of white dash in the middle to help me with the alignment. I show it to someone who knows golf and has played a long time and they'll think, um, is that the right color for metal? I don't know. But it's 10 and a half degree guys. It has a 460 cc head and we do have quad flex, which means the quad bits flex. That's all you're gonna get from me for a technical review. It's not adjustable and it is a graphite shaft as well. This is gonna be a tough hole into the wind. Guys, stay tuned for the numbers, indoor numbers. Oh, that felt very weak. Where's that gone? I might have to watch Shot Tracer back to you where that's gone. That felt like the head went that way. At least it's got a head cover though, so. We'll continue to take the positives and we shall move on. Now, I'm also well aware that these are regular shafts. I did look for stiff, they didn't have them, so I bought the best clubs in the spec that I could get. They did have ladies' shafts though, which let's face it, should just be called extra regular or soft or something like that. So if you're wanting to get your wife into it, if you're wanting to get your son or daughter into it, for 200 odd pound, even if they play a couple of times and you get rid of them, at least I've tried it. Now, I think I can see it, um, that, it's quite wide. Yes, that is it next to that tree. And yes, this is the um, the wrong fairway. You'll usually see the videos going that way. Um, we'll, we'll get back here in a minute. This is gonna take quite a ballsy shot, but we are gonna go for it. I think it'll test the hybrid. Can we get the hybrid over there? Hmm. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try, why not? We're only here once. We're here for a good time. I, wish I, thought, I thought I took all those off. Not a long time. Now, I imagine for the demographic of golfer that these clubs are designed for, the hybrid will be something which you hit a lot. So it's important that this club is right. It's important that it's good. 22 degrees, is that enough to get it over these initial trees, hopefully, and get it cut in back towards that green. It feels quite short, actually, in the shaft length, which isn't a bad thing because it's obviously easier to control a shorter shaft. So that's obviously working in your favour. We don't have all the technology in here like you do the driver, but it is quite a nice looking head and I like that there's plenty of loft on it as well. Again, that's gonna make it easier to utilize. Right, there's the gap. Hit the gap and go with it. Oh, you know what, that's outstanding. That could be good. Take a nice kick. It felt firm, but you know what? That was absolutely middle as well. I really, really enjoyed that and you see i'm starting to think that a lot of this is how you go into it with your mindset go into it thinking they're going to be rubbish and you'll hit bad golf shots we all know what golf is like uh, is that the right one go into it thinking they're going to be okay value for money and they're probably going to be okay value for money i suppose it's similar when you go and test drive a car isn't it go into it thinking this is going to be cheap this is going to be rubbish i'm sure it doesn't drive as well as this then guess what it will be cheap it will be rubbish and it won't drive as well as that Go into it thinking, you know what, this is going to be a load of fun. Presto. Now, is it up here or is it short? If it's short right and going there, then we're in trouble. No, it's on. I've hit the green in two from, oh, God knows where, from all the way over there. And I'll tell you something as well, that's not far off taking that ridge and being close. I mean, we'll take it being there. It's a, God, a horrible putt. But I'd rather have that putt than uh, a shot from in there. I'm not going to lie, this is where a nice soft putter insert would be lovely. Um, we'll do well to get this to about here with this slope. We've massively undercooked that and it's still done okay. One thing I like about the putter is how this line meets the line on the back. So that kind of helps you make sure you're in the right posture, which you don't always get with a kind of budget putter. We'll take that and we'll try and hold that. Tame effort. I honestly thought I couldn't leave that short. Greens must have just been moist this morning. Oh, we'll take it as well. Little lap of honour. And guys, even if I would have missed that, I'm not really blaming the putter. I'm probably blaming the, the driver for putting me there Then the hybrid rescued me. I could have three put of that with any putter, really. But luckily enough, we didn't. So we'll move on. Oh, this is a horrible hole. Um, I don't like this hole. But even though I don't like this hole, it is downwind, which makes it a little bit easier. Hopefully, I can get the feel in this shaft. Now, guys, I have already hit a load of shots with this driver, so I did know what to expect. Like I said, we have been in the studio checking for numbers. Let's get teed off, then we'll jump in there, we'll have a look at those numbers, and see exactly what you guys think about 
these golf clubs for 200 and 39 pound i think sometimes we forget how much these were which is why i like to remind everybody do not go left you idiot that is nuked down the middle lovely little fade <sighs> what a drive that is oh so guys let's jump in the studio let's see how far these golf clubs do go and then let's get back out here and finish off this round. So guys, in the studio we started off with the Sports Direct Slazinger Pitching Wedge. And as you can see, I quite enjoyed it. I hit the green quite a few times out of the testing. We had 98 miles an hour ball speed, 8,300 spin, and only a carry of 124, which I thought was quite short actually. I expected more than that. Moving up to the six iron, this actually felt quite good. I did miss the green more times than I hit it though to the right. Ball speed 124, spin 4859, which isn't too bad, and a huge carry of 184, which was more than I expected. The driver, the driver was very hot and cold. I couldn't really keep it on the fairway. You'll see that was the 18th at Lytham, and we only carried 249, spinning at 27. So for me, the driver, you do kind of get what you pay for there. Let's get back out there and see what we can score. Now, to be perfectly honest with you all, that's pretty much what I expected from the numbers from these golf clubs. They were never going to be premium, they were never going to be massive, and they were never going to be that consistent as well based on my strike patterns, mainly because of the shafts, but also just the build quality of the heads. Yes, the QC checked, yes, they are of a certain quality, but there's a difference between a certain quality and a premium product, and a Mizuno, a Titleist, a TaylorMade, a Callaway. But then you pay for that. And I'm not going to lie to you all, I've hit way worse drives with way more expensive clubs on this hole. I love this hole! Ha ha, take that lake. Nowhere near you this time, nowhere. Can we throw a like on this video for how close we are to that center stripe with this driver? That's quite phenomenal. I really enjoyed that drive, way better than the drive that was into the wind, which makes me think I put less effort into it because I know I'm downwind, I don't need to smash it. That shaft can react okay for me. It's important to know that when you're playing with these golf clubs, we have 160 yards. Can I hit a full eight or a seven? I'm gonna go seven. And just based off of what I've just said, I'm learning from my mistakes. I'm trying not to hit these clubs overly hard to get out of them what I want to get out of them. Almost feel like I can just set it nicely at the top, release down, minimal effort, and that should work. Whether or not that'll work for you for this price, you'd have to try them. Come on, James, come off the hour. The greenkeeper thinks he's safe there, but he's not. at the middle of the green it's not a great shot didn't really launch that one at all it's going to scoot along to the front that's going to be another difficult putt but I don't feel like I'm getting much out of these irons unless they're teed up they're quite difficult to kind of launch up in the air which is strange because that being clunky you'd think they'd be quite easy to do so but let's see if we can uh, save a par also I'm glad I clubbed up and hit seven not eight because that pitched kind of really short the green and ran on so an eight would have had no chance so I've probably done that a bit of a disservice because we are flag high um, it's just a long way from the flag this will be fun right certainly not the putt you want to be left with uh, and not one I can really say I'm looking forward to but also Greenkeeper Stews just showed me a few things with the grips um, and the QC guys want to kind of maybe go and get another job because if you look at some of these grips um, now I do believe that that arrow should be pointing where the club face is pointing and uh they're not like um, and any of them. So cheers for that, Stu. We do have that for level par though. Apart from line and pace, that was a fantastic putt. But I wouldn't be blaming the putter. I blame myself. Wasn't a good read, wasn't a good putt. If I was thinking about the clubs, Maybe the proximity to the hole with the seven iron wasn't that great and left myself a very difficult putt. Make percentage even on tour from there wouldn't be very high, but most of them would too put it. Oh. Is a 239.99 set of golf clubs from Sports Direct, and that is one over par for three fairly difficult challenging holes here at Woolly Park Golf Club. Guys, get in the comments below, what did you think? Personally, I think the great clubs for the money, if the 
this bag's rubbish. But also, on another day, I think the score could have been different. It could have been more, it could have been less. But for £239, I've enjoyed myself. And for me, that's almost all that matters. Guys, smash that subscribe button if you've enjoyed that. Leave a like as well, so I know you're enjoying the videos. And apart from that, I'll see you all at the same time tomorrow. Stay tuned for the comparison, because that's going to be epic. Bye.